everybody and welcome to the Quadcopter Review. I'm your host Pepe Prawns. As always I like to start my videos out by asking you to like this video, comment on it if you like, and as always subscribe to the channel. It helps grow our channel. Liking and commenting helps us on the YouTube search engine. You can always find up here at the top the current giveaways going on at the site and the other information that might be going on here at the site. So let's get started in today's review. Today we got the Beta FPV Pro Series 2S Whoop and this is their $99 entry into the Whoop market uh, trying to match their Beta 75X which they're doing here with a little bit different of components. I got mine in FR Sky. You can get them in DMX, Fly Sky, FR Sky EU, Futaba, PNP, and CRSF. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside the box. We've got our little what looks to be a soft mount for our battery and or some kind of separator. I'll check that out in a second. And we got our terminators here to fly this on 1S. We got the Beta 75 Pro itself and this is 75 millimeters motor to motor. We get two 300 milliamp hour HV batteries as well. And I'm going to guess again that this mount is some sort of mount for the batteries to uh, to change it out or or something but we'll figure that out got a second mount for our camera once again this is at probably about 20 degrees compared to the 35 degree standard angle that you get here it is a fixed mount camera again I don't really you know the, the movable camera mounts are great but I know what angle I want to fly at and if I stick with a permanent mount then I don't have to concern myself with crashing and that camera moving down or up or it just vibrating down or up. I mean I was into it in the beginning but I'm starting to, to realize it really doesn't matter if you know what angle you want to fly at. As a beginner to have one that you can move is a great option so that way you can figure out where you want to go. And we also have the card inside where you can go and find the manual online and you can connect with them and their support group if you need them. Let's go ahead and look at the components on this little quad. We have 0802 12,000 kV motors, same as the 65X. We've got our 41 millimeter props, four blade, and these are spinning out, so same as the 75X. Hopefully we don't have any washouts like I didn't. I didn't have any on the 65, so let's hope we don't have any on the 75. We've got the all-in-one board here instead of the multi-piece board that was on the X series. So that is got the flight controller, the VTX with a dipole antenna. Our camera fixed at 35 degrees as I mentioned and this is the Z02 VTX camera but it's separated it's not um, one piece like it was before so it is a separated piece connected here and it's an all-in-one ESC board we've got our boot and we've got our bind buttons okay so one small difference I want to show you guys in binding these new pro series is when you push the bind button which is the front one I have to hold it down while plugging in on this one you just plug it in you'll see a, a blinking green light and if you hold your bind button down for three seconds you'll see it go to solid there you go turn on your radio and hit bind and you will bind to this little quad we got the 2JST 2.0 plug system here, once again for two single batteries, so if you're flying single batteries you don't have to worry, however the mount itself here can handle a single one, um, single battery at 2S, like, uh, like these tattoos I have over here, but you would have to switch this out to a different connector, depending on what connector you're using there. Now this little guy does come with smart audio, so your throttle stick to center, pull left, and push the pitch stick forward, and you'll come in here, and you can go in and change your band to your favorite band. I use E1 in my area, and our power level is only at 25 on this one, so we'll leave it and save and exit. And that's it. That's the quad itself, guys, and what we get, which isn't a whole bunch, as we know. But uh, again, we're going to check this out for its price range, and we're going to check it out uh, with the washouts and the things that we had in the past. Some of the other things we already know about. This is a very fragile canopy, but they're also a dime a dozen. They don't cost you anything to get and to have, and to just unscrew it and remount one is worth it. Uh, Beta FPV has a tendency to be more pursuant of, of a race type 
quad so they're going for the lightness of the canopy here versus one of these harder canopies that you're going to get on one of these other quads like this so if you're uh, using the trash can you got a harder canopy it's going to weigh a bit more but that's more for for flying i don't know as much as what beta fpv puts into it for thinking about racing and lightness and things and they figure you can exchange us out a lot easier and save yourself the weight so that's that so up next we'll just get it out and we'll fly it a bit and let you see what what it flies like and you can decide what you think about this particular quad when we do that now the first thing i ran into that i just want to warn you about it's not a huge thing but the dipole antenna seemed to float a little bit left and I needed to put that back in the slot when there's a slot in the back of the frame that it belongs in and you can put it in there. You might need to use a zip tie or something to help hold it there because it does want to float out and get itself in the props. But I fixed that up uh, there you see in the beginning and let's see how it goes. So it flies really well. Uh, very, very you know stable as always with the Beta FPV boards. I'm a big fan of of their boards and I've always liked them and they always seem to work great. It uh, has plenty of punch to it. It does acro just fine as you can see. I didn't run into any trouble with that and um, the VTX breaks up a little bit here and there but I'm pretty certain that was it getting slapped by the props when I found that after the fact. It, because the, the 65 using the same exact VTX in camera was perfect. And as you can see, the camera is really, really nice too, really clear. It was a very, very overcasty, about to rain day. We've been dealing with some weather down here in Florida. And I was getting these flights in the best I could, as you can see with all those clouds and stuff up there. So the darkness about this um, is just simply because it was dark outside. So, but no washouts at all that's the good news um everybody is concerned about washouts and would they spread to here but using this uh one piece board seems to have solved it we're still props out like we were on the 75x but that problem has gone away for me on both the 65 pro 2 and the 75 pro 2 so i am pretty confident that for the most part that is gone um if people run into those issues it could be other things now your tune things like that but but it doesn't seem to be there at all just by default like it was and it's a ripper it's just like it was um on the 75x you gotta remember these are pretty much the same parts uh just a single board instead of a two-piece board and uh i'm getting plenty of rip out of this guy plenty of great handling um i did crash into that tree and as you can see the camera moved um, but it didn't break which is awesome because when the 75x first came out I was very capable of breaking those cameras and pushing the lens tubes into the body and that particular issue they seem to solve with some extra glues and stuff to make those a little more stable but um, I knocked it back but as you can see it it's uh, moved itself with the other little bumps back into position and no problems there so I believe most of our problems are gone here you know compared to what we we're running into to the 75x and you know the better note is this is uh now $99 too so we're getting um same our same quality our same components besides the board for a lesser price which is pretty awesome in my book so if you're interested in this guy i've got the links below make sure you check those out um i'm gonna let you guys watch the rest of the footage and as always uh don't forget to like comment share this on your interwebs and as always guys happy flying enjoy the rest of the footage Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out the quadcopter review. If you want to see more interesting reviews on FPV related stuff, take a look up here in the old right corner right there. You'll find links to all the rest of my reviews. If you want to get in on some of the best giveaways 
on YouTube, look over here. Don't forget to subscribe right here on my chin. And if you want to check out my flying only videos separated from the review channel, check that out right here. And thanks for coming. Don't forget to subscribe and happy flying.